Hello everyone, I'm Gareth the Mastermind saying for you again today and welcome to an apology video. Yes, I screwed up something. Now, this concerns one of the videos that I would have released a few days ago at this moment in time covering a demo that was supposedly covering non-Euclidean geometry. Now, it turns out that one commenter basically pointed it out to me and said that the term non-Euclidean was used incorrectly and it's more like regular Euclidean geometry but with a manifold and boundary and that. Uh, getting into like pure mathematical territory which is not my you know area of expertise I'm more of a physics kind of person. So what I decided to do today was go I fucked up I admit to it and what I'm going to do is actually show you examples of non-Euclidean geometry. And so, yeah, the stuff that you might see that's claiming to be non-Euclidean geometry might not be non-Euclidean geometry, if you catch my drift. So if I just switch my scene real quick, if I can, because I'm obviously, you know, this is a, a an epic video right now. Um, I've got this page that was linked to me talking about non-Euclidean geometry and basically this uh, individual named Zeno Rogue on this uh, page here on medium.com which I'm sure is a very reliable source basically just outlines everything you need to know. I would have talked a little bit about the mathematical side of things in the last video I did about this subject matter but the interesting section is this which is games and interactive demos using non-Euclidean geometry. Now this is either hyperbolic geometry or spherical geometry. Again, as I mentioned in the first video, this is geometry that basically violates Euclid's fifth postulate. Um, and you can look into that if you really want to. I'm pretty sure this uh, article looks into it. I'll leave it in the description and comments. But um, the first one is something called Hyperogue. And that takes us to a little trailer video. And so just to play you a little bit of it, this is hyperbolic geometry for you. So if I just make this full screen actually, um, then you see it's all like hexagonal based, but then it's like every hexagon is the same distance away, but it looks like it gets smaller towards the edges. And so when you go towards them, they become bigger. And so essentially that you can have a gigantic amount of space in this sort of hyperbolic uh, in hyperbolic geometry sense so I believe the uh, the what's said here is that you have a world that's larger than that of No Man's Sky or Minecraft just because of the hyperbolic plane growing exponentially essentially like I'm sure it says something here about um, like if you uh, yeah here so in Euclidean geometry, a circle of radius r has perimeter 2 pi r, or uh, circumference. In spherical geometry, it's 2 pi sine r, which is bounded. But then in hyperbolic geometry, it's 2 pi sinh r, which is exponential. So yeah, that, that is a uh, sinh, by the way, I think, or shine, or however you want to say it. But um, that is formed of real exponentials. So that is why you get exponential growth in the hyperbolic plane, at least. So that is an interesting concept, at least. Though, again, I look at something like this and I get like confused the fuck out. Like, how are you supposed to know where to go when it's like this? And, you know, it's like massive. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you have to have a... a, a epic brain or something to figure that out. So this was another thing, I think this was um, Uniform Polychora, that's what it's called. So this is supposed to demonstrate three-dimensional spherical geometry and so as it says up here, um, uniform polytropes in four dimensions. Uh, when viewing you're in the, uh, the three-dimensional surface of a four-dimensional hypersphere the polytrope being used is ballooned out onto the hypersphere. So you can use WASDQE, which is like the top left hand of your keyboard, and IJ, or that, which is top right. Um, so for instance, you can go into the bitruncated eight cell, it loads that, and um, by moving around, you see how, you know, it moves. So 
Okay, it, it's a little sluggish, I must admit. It looks like some of the keys don't... Okay, it's, it's more left than I realise. But, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be, like, what this structure looks like, in essence. I don't... Can I look down? There we go, looking down. So, it's... Uh, Pretty funky, right? And then you press escape and go back, and obviously you can, you know, see the om omnitrun omnitruncated 120 cell can't speak, and that can take uh, apparently, according to this person, 18 minutes to generate because it's uh, quite massive. But um, yeah, just go into another one, and you just see how complicated this looks. And apparently, this is supposed to be an example of uh, spherical geometry, at least. So spherical geometry being basically spheres um, so that's your r feet of phi in spherical polar coordinates at least uh, I know about stuff like that at least uh, next up is hypermine which I think is a game in development and it's it's minecraft like and you'll see from the images I'll show you and it's supposed to be in 3d hyperbolic space so again as you see it's very blocky and you see the sort of hexagonal base uh, structures that I guess define hyperbolic space in this case um, and again look at all the pretty colors and all, all this depth that we have and space it looks pretty good so this is actual non-euclidean geometry um, like at least I hope it is because it would be wrong if I get called out for this being wrong and it's like yeah I gotta make an apology to the apology to say I was wrong yet again about this sort of stuff which is a consequence of not being a mathematician and wanting to talk about some cool stuff. And this is an epic drawing. I'll give it a 11 out of 10. Absolutely amazing. And the last on the list is a non-Euclidean game in development called Hyperbolica, which is actually uh, very interesting if you look at it. So that's, that's, plain, that's plain audio. But you see that it's it's like, it looks really large, but then it comes into focus and then it's like really close in. So this is the sort of three-dimensional hyperbolic plane in action so it looks uh very weird doesn't it and so it looks like you're on the surface of like a sphere going around and it's all this the curved space that you're in it's uh yeah weird looking i know so that's uh what we have so far and keep in mind that this code parade channel was the channel that did the video demonstrating the so-called non-euclidean geometry demo that i played for the channel um so that this is actual like non-euclidean geometry it's hyperbolic space and of course spherical space is non-euclidean as well but uh anything that you see such as the uh demo the non-euclidean worlds engine or another video that i'll overlay in this video that claims to be non-Euclidean geometry actually isn't. It's more like Euclidean geometry, but has an affine manifold with boundary, I guess is the correct terminology to use. And other stuff would be like Asteroids and Pac-Man, classic arcade games where you go off one side of the screen and come in through another. Um, so you come out the right, or left in my case, and you come out this side of it, for instance, um, or even Portal you know so again that exists in euclidean space but once you put some portals down you teleport and all that sort of good stuff and um i've heard uh the comparison to anti-chamber a few times as well i've not played it or seen it personally i know some ordinary gamers played it but i haven't seen much if anything about it but again it's the same sort of uh technicality issue of that it's a euclidean manifold with boundary so it's Euclidean space, but it does weird teleportation tricks to fool you in essence. So I hope that this has been somewhat of a satisfactory update apology video to say that, you know, what you may think has been non-Euclidean geometry may not be the case. And stuff like what I've shown you might actually be more like actual non-Euclidean geometry, just so you have the idea of what it might be like. And especially the hyperbolic geometry, I think that's more associated with these hexagons and they sort of get smaller the further out you go. But then in actuality, they're all supposed to be the same distance from each other. As this hyper rogue video seems to demonstrate, like you go to a space and then, you know, the hexagons around you are the same, you know, size and shape and all that wherever you are. So that is... Uh, 
my little demonstration, I guess, and update. To say that I fucked up, and this is real non-Euclidean geometry and not wannabe non-Euclidean geometry. Um, so I hope you found this somewhat interesting, entertaining, and um, I'm 85,000 G, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow at the time of this recording for Halo 3 on PC when it launches. Yes, that is something that I'm looking forward to. So take care, peace out, and see you later.